Justin, what, what are your thoughts on just the last couple of days? We've seen a bunch of pitchers go down with injuries. There's been mm -hmm. blame on both sides. What, what do you think? I don't know, man. It's tough. Um, I think the game has changed a lot. Uh, you know, I, 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 it, I think the I think it'd be easiest to hear and blame the pitch clock. Um, you know, I think in reality, uh, you put everything together and um, everything has a little bit to, a little bit of influence. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is the the, the, the style of pitching has changed so much. Um, you know, everybody's throwing as hard as they possibly can and um, spinning the ball as hard as they possibly can. And, um, you know, it's hard to deny those results. Obviously, uh, how can you? It's 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 a double-edged sword. How can you tell somebody to go out there and not do that when they're capable of throwing 100? And, and you know, this, this this young guy comes up and throws a pitch 95 and gives up a big homer, and everybody's like, what the hell, man? Um, so something needs to change. Uh, I, I, I don't have all the answers. I, I know pitching, um, you know, and I've been – I don't want to beat a dead horse here. It is what it is. Um, I think the data is out there at this point. But when the balls started to change back in 2016 and they started flying out a bit more frequently, um, I know myself personally that started changing how I had to approach pitching. Um, you have to start swinging. You have to start approaching uh, uh, the batter as I want swing and miss. I can't have him put the ball in play where the old adage, uh, pitch down, pitch away from the guy, hit your spot, get a weak, you know, get weak contact early in the count. Um, and then you can kind of go up and uh, that kind of went out the window um, when when everybody started being able to leave the yard, especially opposite field. Um, you know, and and look, I, I, like I said, I, I, I'm not here to. Uh, I, I, I've I've said my piece on that before in the past, and it is what it is. As long as we're all out here competing on an even playing field, that's what I care about, and we all have the same baseball in our hands. So that's that. Um, but I do think that you throw that in the mix, um, and you throw analytics in the mix. And you throw the pitch clock in the mix, and it all kind of, you know, all kind of adds up. And uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know how we rewind the clock. Um, maybe there's some sort of way to incentivize starting pitching, going deeper in games. Um, you know, I remember I talked to Scherzer at length last year with the Mets, and we talked about having, uh, you know, the starting pitcher be tied to a DH, and having, um, you know, you have to uh, achieve certain uh, milestones before. If the pitcher comes out and he hasn't achieved any of those milestones, um, you lose your DH. So at least the team is incentivized to teach their pitchers to go through the lineup three times. Whereas right now, nobody's incentivized to do that. No teams are incentivized to um, tell their pitcher, OK, like, let's go through the lineup three times. Let's navigate a lineup. Um, those aren't conversations that are had anymore. Nobody's fault. Um, it's just the, the nature of the game where it's at right now. But if that mind shift switches and teams start um, incentivizing, OK, how do we get guys out three times? Because right now, third time through the lineup, they're looking for an excuse to take you out. Because analytically, it says that batters have more success third time through. Um, you know, um, So I can't, I can't sit here and blame anybody. But the second that you start incentivizing pitchers staying in the game longer, throwing 110 pitches, throwing 100 pitches, you know, working, navigating the lineup, then the, the, the trickle down permeates all the way to Little League Baseball. You know, everybody's trying to get to this level. So. You know, you, you want to go play D1, now you got to throw hard and you got to spin the ball well. You want to go to the minor leagues, you got to throw hard, spin the ball well. And, you know, it all it all starts from here down. Um, the second that you start incentivizing pitching and guys are getting drafted because they can pitch and get guys out, then that goes down a level and then down a level and down a level. And, you know, I, I just hope that we don't wait too long because, uh, you know, it can, it can uh, you know, it's obviously a pandemic and it's going to take years to work itself out because everybody right now, Little league on. Go look no further than Instagram. I can't. I can't look at my Instagram feed without seeing you know some kids trying to learn how to throw as hard as they can at 10 years old. I sure as hell didn't do that. You know, I didn't figure it out until college. I matured in my body. I was, you know, I, I, I say it all the time. If I looked, if I, if I came up in today's world, I don't know what would happen. My mechanics were a little different. I was tall, langly, lean. You know, lang skinny, lean, uh, weird. Kind of hadn't hit my m maturity. Went to college. Didn't get drafted. Went to college and kind of grew into myself and all of a sudden started throwing hard but it wasn't because i did some you know program to make me throw harder uh, so it's hard hard question